Get ready, here it comes. You saw it, and I saw it. But amazingly, the guy who shot the video didn't see it. And there was no sense of a flash. Um, we just knew it was very close. And it was only when we reviewed the video that we saw just how close it was. Bruce Highland was camping with a group of friends at Shoshone Lake in Yellowstone National Park. He pulled out his point and shoot camera to take pictures of this sudden hailstorm. All of a sudden we hear this enormous crash. We didn't see a flash of lightning. We didn't know how near it was. But I just thought, well, hey, I've been taking a video. I wonder if I caught the thunderclap uh, when it went off. And so I played it back. A frame-by-frame -frame examination of Bruce's video shows us what the human eyes at the campsite couldn't see in real time as lightning strikes a pair of nearby trees. You can clearly see that one frame completely saturates with the, the light from the strike, and yet we didn't, we didn't see that at all. The next frame after that, the saturation is gone, but you can see a little orange glow in the tree, and you can see an orange glow that goes out into the lake. I think that orange glow in the lake is just reflection off all of those little raindrop craters. Within one thirtieth of a second, the ground erupts as the enormous jolt of electrical energy finds a path through the roots. Ten frames, one third of a second after the flash, Bruce reacts to the thunderclap, the startled photographer jerking the camera. Still pictures taken moments later show the deep scars left by the lightning strike and how close it came to the campers. With medical care hours away, Bruce and his friends know they're lucky that this video is the only thing they came away with.